Welcome back to another Chat Hub Market Update. It is the 9th of October 2023. Remember, everything you're about to see is not financial advice. It is purely art on the chart. And if you support the channel, check out all of those links down below. Now, I wasn't going to do a market update tonight, but, but, um, some stuff's going on right at the beginning of the week. After the news over the weekend, it appears to have had a minor <laughs> impact on the market. Uh, with, uh, you know, looking at uh, NASDAQ futures and S&P 500 futures uh, and some other things up and down, left and right. So let's get into it. We'll start with something that may be a little bit more tame, though. Bitcoin, of course, the weekend action giving us two indecision candles now moving into this Monday trading day down 0.29% currently right this second. And uh, not too much else to say since the, the last market update, right? We've gone uh, pretty much uh, sideways. Oh, no, we did get the Type 2 return. Okay, so we confirmed the Type 2 return of the bearish deep crab. But aside from that, we have continued uh, to uh, sort of go sideways after a little bit of a, a rejection of that uh, 28.4, 28.5 region. Okay, so now Bitcoin looking to come down. And possibly uh, right back down to 26.9, 27,000. Okay, the, the low of this uh, nice little bullish trending channel here. Pretty pretty nice one on the 4-hour. So look to test the demand line way down here at uh, 27,000. Okay, a little bit of horizontal support resistance there as well. But aside from that, not much else to say. This is the four-hour chart here. Um, you know, we are showing uh, somewhat of, I'm not going to say strength, but uh, we're not showing a lot of weakness here considering, yes, we've seen more supply come in at this level. We discussed this last week, but still managing to hold, uh, you know, this, this trend uh, locally and and push up against uh, this this little level here in fact you can see see the gray little lines there. you can just see them that's uh, the pra that's the potential reversal area it's part of the chat hub signals go and check it out and uh yeah that's that's uh, pretty much it in fact we've got talking to chat hub signals let's uh, crank this up to the dj mode let's have a look not much change there on the daily but uh, we can drop down to the four hourly yeah, it's a nice PRS signal there with that bearish dude crab. Always nice to see. But aside from that, uh, there's not a whole lot going on um, with Bitcoin. So let's see if we can uh, continue this trend uh, right now to the upside, at least locally, despite what's happening on in other parts of the market, such as the NASDAQ. So a nice little gap down to open up on the futures, currently down 0.8%. Looking uh, to ultimately... Well, there we go. Remember this one? Bullish shark pattern. Okay. We got the... Uh, we so close. So close to target one. Pretty much a uh, pretty much a bearish 5.0 there. Front running that uh, 200 moving average on the 4 hour. And, uh, you know, a little bit of profit taking at that support resistance level. Testing the B point of the shark. Okay, so, so some nice confluence there. And yeah, there's your rejection, right? And with the gap down after the after the weekend news, it's, uh, it sort of plays uh, really nicely into uh, you know, show me the chart and I'll tell you the news sort of situation. Um, but uh, of course, still got quite a few hours until market opens. So let's see what that really brings. This could just be a, a, a gap down, gap fill, continue the move up. But uh, everything really remains the same here. Looking still at that level to be, uh, this level here to be that line of defense. Um, there's a possibility, of course, we get the gap fill uh, before continuation down. But uh, like I said, that's the level to to uh, to sort of reject off and looking for a type 2 return coming down to 14.5 but possibly lower in fact i'll be looking lower mainly because of this uh this uh you know you want to call it a bull flag whatever i'm looking at the volume it's not giving me uh really bull flag volume just yet uh, this this sort of volume here locally i spoke about last week as well quite like this but the wicks on the lows got to maintain that of course maybe test it one more time before moving up if we're if we are able 
to uh, to reach the highs here before reaching the lows it would show a better sign of strength it's uh, similar when we flip the chart this is sort of what we look for when we're looking for bearish charts right we see the attempt to push prices higher and uh, we're unable to reach that uh, supply line and this just shows that weakness and uh, you know expect it to break down from there well flip the chart back to how it should look and that's uh, effectively what we're talking about here okay so uh, yeah downside targets should this selling continue should you know if this is the news catalyst or whatever um, should the selling continue then uh, you know we're looking down around about 14.3 thousand as our downside target Uh, natural gas continuance move up here a little bit of a uh, selling off looking like a crowd pattern is com is trying to complete here um, so Cena you know so far up 1.86 percent today 13 hours till confirmation but uh, it's just starting to see that wick creep in here um, good breakout so far so I'd expect or I'd like to sorry I'd like to see a bit of a choppy price action low volume back down towards three dollars that would give you more uh, you know that will give you a really good entry for a, for a move to the upside. Okay, US tenure uh, up 1.82 percent, looking to uh, to push higher today. Oh, was that right? Oh no, these are closed. Sorry, my apologies. I'm reading the uh, <laughs> I'm reading the values on the right. I believe these are closed today. Is that right? Something's going on with the the. Um, it says market open interesting but no timer on the side so something's not quite right there someone can uh, confirm that I know uh, rise will know something about that uh, but uh, ultimately we'll move on to the DXY where we are seeing a, are you shocked a bounce off of the trend a trend from that bullish butterfly um, and uh, yeah you got a warning in the discord and um, yeah, we've got a reaction already, not broken down. In fact, we just spoke about this on the last market update. No, we didn't. We spoke about it on stream over the weekend, Friday night, if you're in America. Um, and gold, gold. Okay, we followed this move down. Oh, wow. Is that a Gartley trying to confirm? So nice deep crab, much larger Gartley, but the deep crab we followed right from the breakdown here. Okay, in fact, just inside this, uh, this structure, and we get a nice bullish PRS signal there on the daily, okay? Potential reversal signal. More reason to get the signals. And uh, of course, join the Discord where you are notified about this deep crab well in advance. Unless you watch the streams, then you would have seen it on the streams. Moving the market updates. <laughs> um, and silver, yes. So silver um, did gap up but uh, selling off looking to close that gap up 0.4 percent right now um, I still ideally would like to come low and see this deep crab $20.32 but aside from that uh, that's uh, you know that's really everything quick market update but I just wanted to get that out there to uh, to start your week off of course could be a bit of a crazy day today um, so you know always be closing ABC take your profits often and early and early and often and as always make sure that you trade safe or you will get yep.